What's up, Minecrafters? This is KC, and welcome to another episode of my video series for Minecraft Pocket Edition. During the last episode, I began to work on a desert temple. Um, what I plan to use this structure for is for a chest room, and I completed the first few layers of that, and today I would like to try to complete that. So I'm going to begin working on these outer towers and just placing these orange blocks and doing that again on both sides. As I said in the previous episode, I find that sometimes it is easier to complete these types of builds by uh, doing on one side what you do on the other side. Sometimes I find that that is a little less confusing for me to sort of replicate that build on both sides of the tower. So you can see how that's beginning to take shape. And I'm just going to continue completing this layer. Now this layer is a little bit different and it's probably going to be the most time consuming uh, and difficult layer that we will complete uh, today as we look at finishing this temple because this layer contains the ceiling for the area uh, there at the bottom uh, which will also be obviously the floor for the level above it so it'll be just a little more time consuming for this particular layer then the rest of the build should come together pretty quickly uh, because these upper layers do not uh, have quite as many blocks and shouldn't take as long to complete. So you can see here where the entrance uh, is starting to look completed now. And again, most of this layer is going to be filled in. So again, you can kind of see how that's taking shape. So I'm going to just finish uh, this side of it. And I'm placing stairs uh, here because again, that becomes a walkway that leads to the upper portions of the uh, tower uh, in the back, if you will. And that will allow us access to the outside of the, um, of the pyramid shape and then also there will be entrances uh, from this outside layer to the uh, inside. So this side of it is starting to take shape. And again, we are eventually going to fill this entire area in. I don't want that block to be placed there. And it's starting to get nighttime, so again, I'm going to switch back to day. Then beginning here, we're going to, again, move in one block that gives the back portion of the temple the pyramid shape and come straight across the back. Again, we're in one step of that pyramid as we build this back wall. So that is the roughly the border there for that. Then we'll need to complete this section And again, I expect this to be the most time-consuming layer that we do today. And the upper layers will really just begin building up that final pyramid shape. So I think I have that right now. So we're going to uh, just fill in this middle section. And as I said last time, 
I'm building this today uh, in creative mode and I have the ability to switch back and forth between creative mode and survival mode uh, with a mod that I've written and uh, again that's one of the differences between this season and last season of my Let's Play series uh, is that I am going to do this from time to time uh, and there's a number of reasons for that. Number one, a larger build like this takes more time. Uh, it takes more time to gather all of the blocks that are required and also just more time to build, much quicker to build in creative mode. So I think it'll be beneficial to uh, switch back and forth from time to time, although I do still plan to do things in survival mode. It's quite a bit that I want to accomplish in this world. In my last world that I used in season one, I had built several things uh, that I liked that I want to try to uh, redo in this world. For example, I built uh, mob spawn rooms, uh, mob elevators that lead up to mob grinding devices. So again, I want to try to uh, do some of that in this world as well. But one of the things that I'm doing differently is I'm going to focus a little more this time on uh, building. Whereas last time, again, I was more focused on some of those more uh, technical features, uh, you might say, of Pocket Edition. Uh, I always feel like that a lot of people look at Pocket Edition and, and uh, focus more maybe on its limitations uh, as opposed to looking for ways to use what you have available to you uh, in creative ways to achieve uh, some nice builds. Um, and again, I did some of that in my first world and uh, that was very successful just in terms of looking at some of the things that were available like mob grinders uh, that some people may not have ever uh, considered doing in uh, Pocket Edition. So again, I'm gonna focus on some of that in this uh, series. I'm calling it season two. Uh, so it's not quite an extension of uh, season one because season one I was using a totally different uh, world and unfortunately I just could not uh, reuse that world and really take advantage of all of the features available um, in 0.9.4. I couldn't take advantage of some of the new biomes and the infinite worlds and different block types and that type of thing. So again I was sad to see that world go um, and yet at the same time, excited about starting a new world and taking advantage of some of those new features. So again, you can see uh, how this structure uh, is taking shape on the uh, left-hand side, uh, the tower. Uh, and so we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So those stairs that we placed earlier allow you to walk down the hallway that would run this direction, walk up these stairs to this small platform here, and then walk outside of the pyramid um, onto really what would be maybe considered the roof um, of that first set of levels that we built. And from there, again, there's going to be entrances that go into the uh, sort of intersection of the tower. And that entrance to the intersection uh, of the tower will be here. And I'm going to change those two blocks to uh, that other sandstone pattern. Then we will come across the back and then we will build the opposite side just like uh, the side we just created where it has the entrances there in the middle so that's starting to take shape then again, working uh, on the next layer, back to the towers. Going to uh, 
uh, place the orange blocks and then finish this section off with our sandstone blocks. Let's see, that block doesn't need to be there so that we can walk in. Uh, again, so you can see how those stairs allow you to uh, walk into the tower. And then we will do the same thing to this side. And complete this section of the tower. Then the next uh, thing that we'll do here on the uh, center side is, again, we're going to come in a block and just outline this uh, sort of again in that stair step pattern. And again, you can see how uh, these last two layers that I've worked on are going much quicker. It's fewer blocks to place. And it's starting to get nighttime again, so I'm going to switch back to day mode. And finish this section. So that should be the next layer complete. And not too many more layers to go, and we'll be finishing this, uh, finishing up this build, so that would be nice. Again, I plan to uh, use this as a chest room, and I might dig underneath this uh, building and uh, do something there as well. I haven't yet decided what I want to do with that. Um, might be an ideal place to put a mob grinder might also be a good place or a good way to uh, just have additional chest room storage. Um, again, I haven't quite decided how I want to do that yet. I think that'll come together as I uh, get back into survival mode and look at, um, you know, all the things that I want to build and what I might want to uh, use that section for. But I'm thinking at this point I may use it for additional storage. I'm just going to complete this portion of the build, which again will go much quicker because the higher we go, the smaller this area gets. And those blocks that I just placed there are for the entrance uh, into this upper area. Now I'm going to go back to the center of this room and I'm just going to hollow this out. And what this does is it allows light to come in from the outside of the uh, pyramid structure here uh, down into the inner portion of the temple. So we're getting down to the last few layers here. So we're going to uh, complete those. I think we have only about three more layers to go. So I'll place these blocks to sort of finish up these towers. I think there'll be one more layer on top of this that uh, is fully enclosed or covered to finish off these towers. But they are nearly complete. So again, you can see how that's starting to take shape. Those orange blocks, uh, that's orange stained clay. And that is going to, uh, well, if you look at it, it makes a, a pattern 
uh, some type of symbol pattern there um, that gives the exterior of the temple some uh, some decoration uh, which makes it look nice and I do like the new block types uh, available to us if I was building this in creative mode or sorry in survival mode uh, there is a mesa pretty nearby here uh, it's a, a bit of a walk but I would have used that mesa to collect that orange stained clay I love those mesa biomes lots of nice stained clay blocks uh, of different colors certainly some oranges and some yellows uh, some grays and those types of things so if you have one of those in your world uh, or can find one of those it's a great place to get some materials for building because uh, they can provide a bit of color without you having to uh, necessarily create dyes uh, for those blocks and I found a couple of those mesas in this seed uh, and they're fairly large so we're getting to the last uh, portion of this build uh, and that's just to finish off the tops of these towers Let's see, I don't think that's quite right. Those steps, I believe, are going to be just on this level. And then this should finish our, our desert temple. okay I think we're done so let's have a look around and see what this looks like so we have our two towers we have the uh, entrance and again you can see that pyramid shape uh, in the back with the opening which leads all the way down to uh, the center and you can see that blue square just in the uh, center there from the back side you can see the entrances from the towers to the outside we have these two hallways uh, and this is the main entrance so if we enter from the front the interior of the tower looks like this and again there's some nice lighting coming in and again I think sort of back in these recessed areas would be a great place to place my chests I probably want to hang some torches or do something like that to provide some additional lighting on the inside then if we walk up these stairs we can enter the top portion uh, here as well where we can see down to the area below uh, and walk around exit from the other side come back down the stairs back down the opposite hallway so again I'm pleased with this this turned out very close if not identical to the uh, to the structures that are built uh, and created in the PC and console versions of Minecraft so I think that's a nice addition I think it looks nice I like the placement of it as well with respect to the village over here so I will be spending some time decorating it kind of finishing it off uh, making it look a little bit nicer uh, but again its primary purpose is going to be chest room uh, because as I continue working in this world I'm starting to build up quite a bit of inventory uh, and if you watched any of my previous episodes you would know that inventory management is not one of my strong suits uh, so I'm gonna try to do a bit better about that this time uh, so anyway temple is complete I hope you enjoyed this build I think it's going to be helpful to me in this world and thank you for watching, and I look forward to the next episode.